that he was getting to that. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, a real fan. <laughs> he's okay. I've never had, I've had Melvin's beer, which is my go-to, his go-to. All right. Again, apologies for our technical problems. We're having difficulties with our IP provider. Uh, Luke, you were just said that a final missed opportunity came right here at move 30 and take us through what you think you should have done. Yes, well, you know, in general I think it's it's uh, it was not so easy to make uh, progress because White has uh, strong pressure on the DFL and uh, and he's uh, if he can open up uh, the, the the queen side then I also have to worry about the queen side. So which he was going to do in the game but here in this moment, I had the chance to play instead of queen c7 to play queen to a7. Mm -hmm. And the idea is okay, you cannot take on d6 because f2 will be hanging. So, and if he plays like in the game, let's move a4, mm -hmm. then I can take queen takes, queen takes and rook to f8, and he cannot defend f2. Oops. Yeah. So, well, now... After queen a7, it means that he can't play a4. He'd have to change his approach. Yeah, actually, now I'm thinking about it. There is a chance in here why I can play c4. So that after rook f8, you always have to keep an eye about c5, yeah? Yeah, exactly. Hmm. Actually, that's a very good move. Uh, you mentioned it in different positions that yeah. C5 is an annoying way of yeah. blocking F2. And also, you know, in general, okay, like if you, if you look at how the game went, yeah. So I, I went Queen C7, mm -hmm. A4, takes take Queen B6, C4, 